All right, for this next plugin here, you can see I've got my cursor on the word false right now. So keep in mind what that looks like. And then if I replace this with true here to enable this plugin, I'll save that and then watch what happens here. So notice the word true right now, reload. And now you can see there's an underline underneath of the word true. And if I jump back a few words here onto enabled, that's underlined as well. If I jump down here and put my cursor on config, not only is that underlined, but if you look up about 14 lines, about half the screen up here, you can see config up there is underlined as well. So this comes from a plugin called Vim Illuminate. Essentially the current word underneath of the cursor is essentially selected and then highlighted. And by default, it just puts an underline underneath of it. Of course, you could change that as well. I could, for example, modify this. I could make it blue instead. Now, as I move around, you can clearly see where the other instances of the exact same word are located in this document. There's next, there's match, there's MVIM. And then there's also a keyboard shortcut set up here. For example, Alt P to jump back to previous instances, as well as Alt N to move forward through the instances. So definitely check out this plugin. Here is the GitHub page for it. Well worth the time to add. It's a small change to your interface. It's a small tool to add, but it packs a powerful punch because there's a lot of things you can do on the fly just by seeing duplicate text throughout a document and being able to step through it.